Assalamu alaikum students, I hope you all are fine. Today we are going to discuss about the basic characteristic of Five Kingdom classification system and also a status of a viruses. These are the very important topics and the status of viruses uh, are very is very important according to short answer. So now let us start the just you just learn the table and um, uh, and then write it in your own words. Okay. So the first uh, kingdom is a uh, Monera, as I already um, discussed, and I already told you about these five kingdoms in the in yesterday lecture. So today we just uh, learn the key points. Uh, the Monera, the cell type of the Monera is prokaryotic, uh, and the nuclear envelope is absent, um, and the cell wall no cellulose, um, and the cellulose. Those non-cellulose and the cell will contain polysaccharide plus amino acids in it. And the mode of nutrition is or heterotroph or heterotroph means they get food um, through other organisms also and also prepare their own by itself. And the multicellularity is absent. They are unicellular mostly. And the second kingdom is uh, protista. These are the cell type is eukaryotic because uh, uh, which means that the cells that are present in the protista are very complex and the nuclear envelope is also is present in it and the cell wall present in some forms various types so some protista contains uh, cell wall and uh, some has uh, various types of uh, cell wall are present in it mode of nutrition uh, these are photosynthetic in nature or a heterotroph or a combination photosynthetic means uh, um, photosynthetic means they get food through photosynthesis okay and the heterotroph in nature means they prepare their um, they they get food uh, through another organisms and can uh, and uh, some protist also prepare their own by itself by its photosynthesis process and the multicellular absent in most forms not all okay so fungi, fungi are fungi has eukaryotic cells and the nuclear envelope is also present in it and the cell wall has contained a chitin in it and the mode of nutrition has absorptive in nature and the heterotroph also in nature. They means that they gain food through other organisms and the multicellular present in most forms not all um, then uh, the simple uh, kingdom is uh, planta and animalia because we learned a lot uh, of related to these two kingdoms so they both are eukaryotic in nature and the nuclear envelope are also present the major difference between the planta and animalia that the cell wall in the plant the cell wall contains cellulose and other polysaccharides but in the animalia the cell wall is present as you remember the structure of the um, cell then you know that uh, in the cell in the in the animal cell the cell membrane is present basically and the mode of nutrition in the uh, in the plants are photosynthesis and the animalia has uh, ingestive and um, heterotroph okay so multicellularity present in all forms and uh, in plants also present in all forms so they are multicellular in nature the second topic that is a uh, status of viruses and it's a very very important topic and related to uh, today's uh, uh, related to um, related to also uh, the scenario of the world so the viruses are at the borderline of living and non-living so basically in simple words we can say that uh, viruses are not a living thing and also a living thing also so due to their crystalline nature they are considered as a living thing because non-living thing because they are crystalline in nature they are acellular that is they do not have cellular organization yet show some characteristic of living organisms they possess dna so in somehow we can say that viruses are mid type of organism because uh, they some characteristics are resemble with the uh, with the living organism and some characteristic are resemble with the non-living and the characteristic that uh, resemble with the living things is that they contain they possess dna in it and the characteristic that resemble uh, with the uh, non-living is that um, they do not have a cellular organization so um, viruses contain ether rna or dna normally encased in protein cord so viruses basically let us draw the structure of a virus this is a virus if you remember you also learned in the previous classes this, this one is the virus 
okay so here is a uh, uh, here is a rna or dna is present that is encoded in the protein okay so when virus is present and uh, uh, is placed on an other living organisms then it injected that dna or that thing into the body of other organisms okay so they reproduce only in living cells where they cause a number of diseases so when virus enter into the living organism then it caused then it caused disease before it it can't uh, uh, create any disease and it can't harm any other living organism so they are not considered as organism and thus do not included in the five kingdom classification system because they have a lot of uh, characteristics that are example with the living and the non-living things so they are not included in a kingdom prions and viroids are also a cellular particles and are not included in the five kingdom classification basically prions and viroids are the uh, types of the viruses um, so these are not also included in the five kingdom classification system i hope you understand the topic of the virus and it's a very very important topic so take care and allah hafiz